I look over the vast expanse of empty farm fields, stretching far and wide. These fields used to hold such promise and hope. I remember watching generations come and go through the fields and ultimately through me. That's how I came to be. It's part of my structure and in my very name, the farmhouse. I sit comfortably on five acres. It used to be thousands in the small town of Arlington, Indiana. I'm not a young structure anymore. My paint is chipped and my curtains are faded, and my past is filled with hardships. Nowadays, all I look like is a white house. Nothing special, but I'm so much more than that. This is the story of my well-loved family farmhouse, as told in the true stories of the farmhouse. My family farm was built in Arlington, Indiana, by my ancestors, but more importantly, it's cared for by many generations and protected by the Hoosier Homestead Program. This plaque was presented to my family and is displayed proudly in front of my farmhouse. Through our farmhouse and the research I found, the Hoosier Homestead Program was implemented in 1976 with the intent to preserve and recognize farms that have been kept in a single family for 100, 150, or 200 years. Each amount of time is denoted by a different color plaque. The Centennial Award celebrating 100 years is blue. The Quincentennial Award celebrating 150 years is green. And the Bicentennial Award celebrating 200 years is brown. The Hoosier Homestead Program of Indiana preserves my family's traditions, the heritage homes of others, and the history of the state. History can be preserved or lost. In my family, it was preserved through the Hoosier Homestead Program. This was my family in front of our family farmhouse just last year at Christmas. My connection to the Hoosier Homestead Program is through my family farmhouse. For 135 years, my family has owned two farmhouses. The one seen here was named the Clearview Farm because it's nothing but a clear view over rolling fields. Located in central Indiana, only 45 minutes from this capital of the state, Indianapolis. Built in 1884, according to Hoosier Homestead ISDA, Hoosier Homestead website, by my great-great-grandparents who were German immigrants. This was one of the original homes of the two homes. It was the first in Rush County to have electricity in the turn of the 20th century. And the home has been expanded several times, as you can see in this more recent slide. It has served as a hog cattle corn and soybean field throughout the years. We were able to keep our farm through times most people lost their farms, such as the Great Depression. This photo was around the time of the Great Depression, and you can see our farm not only was alive and well, but expanding rapidly. We even lost our animals when our hog barn built down. As you can see, this large barn in the back right here was our hog barn. It burned down in the 90s. And we survived multiple possible fires. As with most old homes, the wiring has a tendency to go bad in the most inopportune time. But we have averted many of those risks. And it still serves as a meeting place. Every Christmas, the entire family shares the holiday together. This is the farm now, as shown through Google Earth. You can tell this is where the hog barn used to be when it burned down, and many of our barns and farm fields have since been demolished for safety reasons. But my family are not the only ones who benefits from this program. Many other families also benefit. The heritage homes of others is also preserved. Since 1976, there have been three different awards presented according to the Hoosier Homestead ISDA Hoosier Homestead website. This is the Centennial Award, as I pointed out earlier, Bicentennial, I'm sorry, Award for owning the home for over 200 years in a single family. Here is the Quincentennial for 150 years, and here is the Centennial for 100 years of ownership. Over 5,500 farms and over 5,000 families have been recognized for their Hoosier homesteads. There are a total of 940,000 farms in Indiana, as shown by this far, and this is the roughly 5,500 farms that are Hoosier homesteads. As you can see, the difference is really startling. 
This program encourages families to hold on to their heritage. Quote, 57 families will receive the Centennial Award for keeping their farm in the family for over 100 years. Those farms consist of 20 or more acres that produce at least $1,000 worth of agricultural products a year. Another 15 families will receive the Quincentennial Award for homes owned at least 150 years. As stated, as the state honors longtime Indiana farm families, the Associated Press reported in 2011 in the AP Regional Report, Indiana. Most importantly, the program protects the heritage of all Hoosiers through treasuring the heritage of Indiana. Indiana has a very rich farming history, which has been preserved in many ways, such as this picture. I believe this was originally a quilt of the Indiana showing the different counties with what makes them special. Indiana is also one of the top corn producers in the nation. Quote, Indiana farm families have been very much oriented toward production and manufacturing of agricultural almost from the very beginning said R. Douglas Hunt, Hurt, professor and head of the Department of History at Purdue University, in the video, Purdue News Service Prov on 200 Years of Agriculture in Indiana, published by Purdue University News on October 11, 2016. The Hoosier Homestead Program aims to preserve the structure of farming. Hoosiers themselves preserve the spirit. Many places are failing to do this, such as Tasmania. An article written by Bruce Munster, a reporter for the Transmanian Country, published Farm Heritage, the Rescue to Urgency on Redundant Buildings and the Warning of Dangers Many Heritage Farms Are At. Quote, despite having a great deal of cultural, ethnic, and sentimental value, heritage, farm, heritage in modern farming contests does not always have economic value. Protecting it is not always high on a farmer's priority, and heritage is slowly disappearing. In the end, there are two options, to protect or destroy. In Tasmania, the farming heritage was destroyed, but it's protected in Indiana. As we look forward, it's equally important to look back. It is essential to look back at traditions, ways of life, and changes that time has brought forth. The Hoosier Homestead Program honored my family's history and heritage, allowing it to be preserved as a centennial farm. Many other families have also been respected. Moreover, the history of Indiana is brought to the forefront and conserved. The Hoosier Homestead Program of Indiana preserves my family's traditions, heritage homes of others, and the history of the state. Even after 135 years, the Norris Clearview Farm is still a truly valued member of the family. It holds decades of stories, memories, and artificial facts in our families. We are very grateful for a program to protect it as it has been. As I wrote in the true stories of a farmhouse, the feeling is surreal. Quote, even after every tragedy, every hard time, and every low, I'm still the farmhouse. Remembered by many, <coughs> visited by some, and truly valued by a precious few. Again this year I get to perform my favorite task, being a meeting place for the best holiday there is, Christmas. I am content in my past, I'm thankful for my present, and I've learned to accept my Excellent.